Hello, everyone, and welcome to this new edition of Message of Hope. And today, directly for Berlin, we have the chance to have Samara Julina, who joins us from Berlin. Welcome, Samara. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And you are a transformative coach and also an anxiety mentor. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I like your your post on on Instagram. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so I will ask you the infamous question, which is, how oh, does having this three principle understanding, how does that help you navigate um, events, circumstances, the big move you just had? How does that help you navigate whatever shows up in your life? Yeah, I love the question. Um, oh, in so many different ways. I was pondering a little bit beforehand. Um, yeah, and so many different things came up. And I think what kind of resonates for me at the moment is that I feel like it just allows me to be in life more than I previously was. Um I would spend a lot of time focusing on my thinking or planning or worrying. Um, and I feel a lot more in the moment now and just able to, yeah, face reality as it comes, um, which is, yeah, I've been really helpful over the last couple of years in general for the state of the world and also yeah, making a big move and changing my environment. Um, it's a lot smoother, I would say. Yeah, and it was a big move. So for people listening to this, she changed countries. <laughs> so it's a big, uh, big move. And we were just chatting a little bit. So tell me more how it helped you to change those big environments, those big changes in environments. Yeah, one of the big things that was different for me this time around, so I had moved a couple times previously, is just the decision making around when to move back home from New Zealand was, I just, I was able to kind of just follow my intuition and not try to figure it out as much. Um, which just gave me, yeah, an underlying confidence in the choice, I guess. Um, a lot of the kind of doubts that might creep up around making a big decision like that still occurred, but I just didn't take them as seriously. Um, and I just, yeah, it just frees up a lot of time to, yeah, be in life be in life more. Um, a lot of the insecure thinking that might come up around, I don't know, being back in a new environment, trying to, um, yeah, just even arrange certain details around coming back home. Um, a lot of that just fell away and you just kind of, yeah, I feel like I'm in the moment and can follow the next step as it arrives. And it frees lots of mental clutter, I guess, at the same time. Yeah, definitely. And I think that also, yeah, influences my relationships um, to not be in my head as much and just be able to be more present. Um, that's generally a big part of my life where this understanding has had an impact, um, not taking insecure thinking is seriously not taking things as personally um and yeah just being aware of the separate realities that we live in um that's been a huge factor for me to just yeah have more understanding towards myself and also others yeah because those insecure thinking is still going to show up we we don't becoming you no know, zen a little cloud uh, or Mr. Spock. 
um, I just said my age right, right with that, but um, we were still human beings. Yeah, I think that's one of the big things that um, was different in terms of what I expected to change in terms of, for example, anxiety and relating to that. It's that we still have anxious thinking, we still have insecure thinking, that doesn't need to necessarily go away, but just relating to that differently, um, which is just really hopeful because that's possible. Whereas trying to get rid of all of those kinds of thoughts isn't really what's on offer. And it's impossible because by the time you are aware of the thoughts, the thoughts always went through the system. Um, so it's impossible to control what thoughts come to mind. Yeah, and it just allows us to be human as well. Of um, Yeah, there's just a lot less to do. We don't need to manage it. We don't need to resist or fight or deal with any of that, really. But it's just changing the relationship um, to our thinking that, yeah, just offers such freedom. Because trying to control something that we can't control that just gets really problematic and it's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> yes, a lot of work. And uh, people beat themselves up for not being able to do that. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's also a big thing that can kind of make us miss the progress that we're making as well. Taking the sign of certain thinking still showing up as being, well, I haven't figured this out. I haven't moved forward. Um, but when we come to see that that's just part of life, that's part of being human, it's relating differently and responding differently to what shows up within us. We're probably doing a lot better than we give ourselves credit for a lot of the time. Totally true. Yeah. Um, so Thank you, Samara. If people want to find you, yes, where can they find you? Um, so Instagram is definitely a good way to reach me at Samara Jolina. Um, I'm definitely the most active there. Otherwise, on Facebook under the same name or samarajolina.com. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me, Martine. Cheers.